What's up everybody, we're back with another Swiss snippet. And today I'm gonna to show you how to dynamically insert a row into a table view, as well as implement the swipe to delete a row from a table view. All right, let's do it. All right, as usual, let me walk you through the starter project just to give you a feel for what's going on. So on my storyboard, and as you can see in my simulator on the right, I just have a text field that we're gonna enter, the name of a new video, and then we're gonna press add, and it's gonna dynamically insert that video into the table view. And then we're also gonna do the swipe to delete to get rid of it. So here in my view controller, I just have outlets for my table view and my text field. Here's the quick array of strings I built uh, so that I can populate my table view. And then here, line 23, that's just hiding the excess cells so there's not a bunch of empty cells in the table view. Uh, I have stubbed out my add button tap. This is where we're gonna implement our code. And then here on 32 and 47 is just the basic uh, table view methods of number and rows and section and self row and index path. Okay, now that you have a feel for what's going on, let's get down to it. First, we're gonna dynamically insert a row into the table view when you press the add button. So let's create a separate function. Uh, it's func, uh, we'll say insert new video title. And I'm separating this out into its own function for two reasons. Uh, one, just to make it simple for you guys to understand, you know all the insert code is gonna be in this little block. And two, I find it more readable, actually let me call it here in the button, so insert new video title. When I'm reading through a code base, I find it easier to understand when in something like button actions, like add button tapped, I don't have to read through blocks of code to figure out what's going on. I like just having the title of a function. So for example, if I'm coming new into this code base, I'm like, okay, what happens when I tap the add button? Oh, I'm just inserting new video title. Okay, I get it. And then if I wanna look deeper into that, I can go into this function. I don't have to read through, you know, a bunch of lines of code to try to figure out what's going on when I tap the add button. Okay, that was just a little side note. You'll see what I mean here in a second. Okay, so when we wanna insert a new title, the first thing we need to do is append our videos array up here on line 17 with the new title. Because remember, a table view populates based on what's in the array. So it can't add a new title if that new title is not in the array yet. So let's put it in the array first. So we do videos.append, and what we want to append is what is in the add video text field.text. So whatever we typed into that text field when we hit add, that is what we're going to append to our array. So the next thing we need to know is where to put that in the table view. So we need to get an index path. Index path is basically the row of the table view. So let's create an index path. And the index path we wanna create is at the bottom of the table view. So that is going to be uh, videos.count minus one. So the index path we're creating is just gonna be the last row in the table view. And the section is zero, because we only have one section. If you had multiple sections in your table view, this is where you would determine which section you're gonna insert the row into. Okay, now that we have that, we can go ahead and uh, update our table view. So you do table view dot begin updates. And then uh, after you begin your update, it's table view dot insert rows. And then here you need to do an array of index paths. Uh, we only have one uh, and that's what we created up there is index path. And now if the situation came up where you needed to insert multiple rows, this is where you would put in multiple index paths. And then the animation, uh, we're just gonna do automatic, but you can see there's all kinds of different row animations uh, you can do. And you can play around with this on your own if you like, but for now we're just gonna do automatic. And then table view dot end updates. So that's it, that's gonna insert a row. We're gonna check it out, but real quick, let's do some cleanup. After we hit the add button, we wanna clear out what's in our text field. So let's go ahead and do that. So add video text field dot text uh, equals, and then it's just blank. And then we'll go ahead and do view dot uh, end editing. And what this does, this will dismiss the keyboard after we're done. All right, let's run it and check it out. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and enter a new video name. Let's say, uh, what's new in Swift 4? You hit add, and then you see it animates what's new in Swift 4 down at the bottom, and then you see it cleared the text field so it's ready to go for the next one. So let's just say, uh, you know, just Swift tutorial. It's pretty, pretty broad. <laughs> add, now we have Swift tutorial. Great, so now we're inserting rows dynamically. It's that simple, it only takes a couple lines of code. Now let's talk about deleting a row. All right, let's go back to the code. And actually, before we get into that, let me illustrate what I meant by making your code more readable. Like I said, imagine that this whole chunk of code uh, was just, you know, I'll go ahead and do it, was just pasted into here, and you had to try to figure out what was going on. Now, don't get me wrong, this is only seven, eight lines of code, so it'd be pretty easy to figure out, but you can imagine something much more complex would be pretty hard to figure out, uh, whereas if you just had a, a list of functions here in your add button tapped, you can kind of get the gist of what's going on real quickly, and you don't have to, like, figure it out. So, again, that's just my little side note for writing readable and understandable code. Okay, on to deleting. This all takes place down in our uh, UI table view delegates and UI table view data source down here in our extension. 
So as you can see, with, with every table view, you need number of rows in section and self row and index path. We got those. That's the basic setup. For deleting, we need to add two more. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick and then explain it. Okay, so here on line 63 to 69, um, there's two table view methods we need to implement. We need can edit row and return true. And this just gives us the ability to edit a row. And then here on line 67 to 69 in uh, commit editing style, this is where we actually implement the code to delete. So as you can see, this function gives us uh, something called editing style, which is a UI table view cell editing style. So let's go ahead and check which style that is. So we want to say uh, if editing style, and it should auto complete for you, uh, equals equals dot delete. So we're only going to execute this code if we're deleting something. So basically what we do here is we remove the object at the index that we want to delete. Because remember, the table view is only going to show what's in the array. So if we take something out of the array and then update the table view, that's the behavior we want. So the first thing we need to do is remove that from the array. So videos dot remove. And now we need to choose which index path we want to remove at. And as you can see, this gives us an index path here. So when we swipe, we already know what index path we're at because that's what we swiped. So we're just going to type in index path here because that's what the delegate method gives us. So we're removing the video at whatever we swiped. But real quick, we're not removing it when we swipe it. Notice this is called commit editing style. We're not going to actually remove it until you tap the delete button. You know, you've seen it before where you swipe, the delete button shows up, then you tap delete. This is what happens when we tap delete. And actually, this needs to be index path dot row. Uh, index path itself is not an int, but index path dot row is an int. So now, just like before, we go ahead and update our table view. So table view dot begin updates. And then here's where we just uh, delete the row. So table view dot delete uh, rows at. And this is very similar, almost identical to insert rows. Uh, so we just need to pass in an array of index paths. Again, in this case, we only have one. There may be situations where you have more than one. Um, but this is just index path. Uh, that we're given back from the delegate method. And then again, uh, you can play around with different animations. I'm just going to go ahead and do automatic. And then let me run through that real quick again because we're done. So we just want to reiterate it. So if the editing style is delete, which is what it is, um, when we tap the delete button that pops out, which you'll see here in a second when I run it, we're going to remove the item at that index path. And then uh, we're going to begin updates. And then table view dot delete rows uh, at the index path, which again is what we got back here from the delegate method. This is the one we swiped. Um, with the animation automatic. And then I forgot table view dot end updates. Now we're done. All right, let's go ahead and run it. All right, so here we have our table view. Looks familiar. We just looked at this. Let's go ahead and insert one just to see that it still works. My new video, hit add. There we go, it popped up. Uh, now let's say I don't like this UI button animations video. I'm lying, that's a good video. You should watch it. You just swipe, and now you see you get your delete that popped up. Once you hit that, it's going to commit the editing style, which is going to delete it from the row. So I'm going to click it. Delete, and it's gone. My new video, you get out of here too. Delete. And then if we want to add one, no, nope, I want my new video back. Add, there it is. So there you go. Now we're adding and deleting rows. Now you can insert and delete rows in your table view. If you found this at all useful, go and hit subscribe. I put out new videos all the time.